How to draw a UFO inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now select the ellipse tool and from one of these crosshairs right here, draw an ellipse that is 4 by 1 square. Now select the zoom tool and zoom in to the ellipse. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Then select both elements, select the shape builder tool, hold down the ALT key to subtract and subtract these two shapes. Then go back to the selection tool, select the rectangle and delete the rectangle, leaving behind a shape like this. So this is the body of the UFO, now we want to install a window. So select the ellipse tool, go to one of these crosshairs right here, hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle and draw a circle that is 2 by 2 squares. Now go to the selection tool and move the circle so it's in the middle of the body and the middle of the circle should align with this line right here. Now we want to expand the circle until the edge of the circle aligns with this cut right here. And by the way, to do this we need to go to view and make sure we have snap to point selected. So now hold down the ALT key and expand the circle until it snaps to this point right here. Then select both shapes, select the shape builder tool, click on the shape you want, go to the selection tool and delete the shape you don't want. So now we have installed a window in our UFO. Now let's install the shapes down in the bottom. To do this, go to the rounded rectangle tool, draw a rectangle from here and all the way to here, just before the cut. So now once again, go to the selection tool, hold down the ALT key and expand the shape until it snaps to the cut right here. Now let's draw another shape with the rounded rectangle tool and this shape goes like this. So now go to the selection tool, select all shapes, pick the shape builder tool and let's draw the shapes we need. So fuse these two shapes together and fuse these shapes together. And for the small part, Simply click at the small part to let Illustrator know that we want this shape. Then select the line tool and draw a line from this end of the body and all the way to the other end of the body. Go to the stroke menu, select round cap and choose a weight that you like. Then go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. So now we turn this line into a shape. So now go to the selection tool, select the body and this new line, go to shape builder tool and let's fuse these very small ends with the middle and the other end. So now if we pick the selection tool, we can see that because we use the shape builder tool, all these shapes are now separate shapes. This makes it very easy to color the UFO. So now let's put it back together. So select all the shapes, select stroke, and disable the stroke for all elements. So now before we do the details, let's start off by doing some basic coloring. So select the window, select fill, and for the window we select this light blue. And if you want my exact colors, I will leave the hex codes later in this video. So for the upper part of the body, make it the lightest gray. For my illustration, that color is already selected. For the middle bar, select the lightest green. For the bottom of the body, Select the slightly darker grey, because it's a little bit in shadow. Then for the big bottom part, select the darkest grey. And for the small bottom part, select the darkest green. So now before we do the shadows, the highlights and the light beam, let's make the details on this middle bar right here. So select the line tool, start by drawing a line from here and down. Make the width of this stroke the same width as this bar right here. I made the bar 10 points, so the width of this stroke should be 10 points as well. Select the stroke and select the darkest green color for this one. Now go to the selection tool, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and make a duplication of this stroke. So now to duplicate this step, simply click CTRL D. Then select all the strokes you just made. Go to object, go to expand. Make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Then while still having all these shapes selected, hold down the shift key and select the middle bar as well. Then go to the shape builder tool, hold down the ALT key to subtract and subtract all these shapes right here. And for the bottom part, subtract all these shapes right here. 
Now we have the details on the middle bar. So before drawing the shadows and the highlights, let's start off by drawing a light beam. So select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Then go to the direct selection tool, grab this anchor point right here and notch it two times to the left. Grab the other anchor point and notch this one two times to the right. Now select the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. Then go to the selection tool and select both shapes. Select the shape builder tool and fuse these shapes together. Now go to the selection tool and while having the light bar selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. Then hold down the Alt key and drag out this copy of the light beam. Hold down the Shift key as well to make sure you keep the proportions. Something like this. So now select both light beams, right click the light beams, go to Arrange, go to Send to Back. Then while having the fill selected, color the light beams this yellow color right here. And select the outer light beam and set the opacity to only 20%. And for the middle light beam, set it to 80%. So that's the shape of the UFO. Now we need to do the shadows and the highlights. So let's begin with the shadows. So to do the shadows, we simply select the shape we want to have the shadow and do as following. Go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and click paste in front two times. So paste in front, go to edit and paste in front. So now we have three windows on top of each other. So select the top window, hold down the shift key and notch this window one time to the right. Then while still having this window selected, hold down the shift key and select the window just underneath right here. Then select the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to subtract and subtract these shapes right here. Leaving behind only the shape we need for the shadow. So go to the selection tool, select the shadow shape and give the shadow this dark blue color. Now let's do the exact same thing for the upper part of the body. And the color for the shadows on the body is this dark gray right here. And now once again do the same shadow trick on this bar right here. And select the middle green for this color. And now because the light is coming from here, we want this bar to drop a shadow down on the body. So we will do this shadow in a little bit different way. So simply grab this bar right here, hold down the Alt key to duplicate and make a duplication like this. Then while having this duplication selected, hold down the Shift key and select the bottom part of the body as well. Then go to the Shape Builder tool, hold down the Alt key to subtract and subtract this shape right here. Leaving behind only the shadow shape that we need. So go to the selection tool and select this shadow shape right here. Now select the shadow color for this shape as well. And for the highlight in the glass, select the ellipse tool, draw an ellipse like this. With the arrow keys notch it down and simply give it a white color. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.